Hi everyone, Scott here again. In this video, we're going to be doing Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 5.4.3.2 titled Observing Dynamic Routing Protocol Updates. And to get started, we have this pre-configured network for us. And we're going to take a look at the routing tables for all three of these routers. Try to make them small enough that we can fit all three of them here to look at. And so we can see that they all have some next hop locations. So they do have some routing information already. If we go in and let's take B for example, we can come look at its RIP routing. And so this is a dynamic routing. So it's picked these up from other routers that are connected to these devices. And so it can pick up where new devices get added because of dynamic routing. So if we added a new device or a new computer over here through router C, router A and B would be able to pick up on that new device and add it into their own routing tables so that PC2 would be able to communicate all the way to that new end device over here. And that's primarily the kind of thing we're looking at for this activity, is how those routing tables get updated dynamically. So if we go over to our simulation tab, we can go ahead and forward it in time to take a look at some of these. And we can see that it's RIP version 1 which is that dynamic updating. So if we come and take a look at a specific packet in here, we see that we have, hey, we have an RIP update packet being sent out to device C, which is this router here. And we can come take a specific look at what C is receiving. and it is over a broadcast for RIP updates and so it receives that notification and it sees all of the routes that router B sent it from router B's own routing table and C says alright well I've got those do I need to update anything and so it would kind of if it didn't have that route already it would add it to its own routing table and if there were any changes made, if I changed the IP address on PC2, for example, then it would just update as needed. So we'll go ahead and autoplay, and we'll see how that goes across all three routers, kind of back and forth. So it's still going and doing that, sending out, so then C sends out, well I've got these routes, and B will add them as needed and be able to broadcast back out through A so A can get updated as needed. And so even though there's no data connection or communication between the computers themselves, these user end computers, these routers will still communicate to keep their routing tables up to date. And I think that pretty much covers everything for this video, so I will see you all in my next video.